It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You, you see this arrangement there? Let's say this is the arrangement that is called completeness or totality. Nothing is missing here, right? Now, in the king's life, this particular poster is missing. As you minimize the role of planning in your life, your freedom increases. So one day, this poster comes floating upon the wings and somehow gets fixed here. And now the pattern is complete. Now the thing is total. This is the way it becomes total for the king because in the king's story, in the king's life, only this is missing. This has no special relevance except that in the king's particular personal story, this was missing. Therefore, the appearance of this thing has no special relevance for you. You find out that what is missing in your life. The king saw a dry yellow leaf floating upon the winds and he was immediately enlightened. That might be because the king has brought everything else, assembled everything else that is needed for totality except detachment. Now when he sees that the tree has given up on the leaf and the leaf is no more attached to the tree and the leaf is freely floating, that completes the story for him. Now what completes the story for the king will not complete the story for Parmeshwari. Because in the king's world only this was missing. In Parmeshwari's world, this, this and that are missing. So a floating leaf will not help Parmeshwari. Something else is going to help Parmeshwari. What? Maybe a talking parrot? Maybe a dancing frog? Maybe some tea? You have to see what is missing from your totality. Therefore, stories about others' enlightenment must be read with caution. You especially have stuff like this in Zen. So, a monk was walking through the street. And he found a dog sniffing into the garbage pile and he was immediately enlightened. If you try the same thing, all you will get is some infection, not enlightenment. The monk had already come to a particular stage where all that was missing was that realization, that particular poster. And the moment that poster came in, everything else was already ready. Everything else was already, already there. Only this much was missing. So, as they say, you know, the proverbial last straw upon the camel's back. That does not mean that enlightenment is a product of that last straw. That only means that the fellow is so thoroughly prepared, the fellow is so absolutely ready, that one small incident and the so-called event precipitates. Are you getting it? When the car is fully assembled and well fueled and totally ready. Then you just insert the key and the ignition happens. If the car itself is in shambles and has no engine, 
What is the point in talking of the key again and again? In the case of the Zen seeker, enlightenment happens at the turn of a key. How does that happen? Because the car is already rearing to go. And so much effort has gone into assembling the car. But the story won't talk about the effort that went into the manufacturing of the car. The story simply says, and the monk went in. And with one slight twist of the key, he flew away. And you say, wow, is that how it happens? No, it won't happen that way for you. You have to first assemble the car and then there might be one point or one touch start. Not before that. Hmm? I remember in the last time in Jaipur, we were given these Zen, uh, Zen stories, right? And we were discussing them in a group. So what was the point then? To see that someone can be so thoroughly prepared. The point is not to lure you with the prospect of instant liberation. The point is to communicate to you that your own preparation can be so very rigorous, so thorough, so complete, that after the preparation, even an ordinary event can precipitate your total liberation an ordinary event there is nothing special about that event that event could as well be the monkey that just went through this place hmm? and then the story would say with one eye Anna looked at the master and with the other eye she looked at the monkey <laughs> and then both the eyes were together and simultaneously liberated and gone was the I. <laughs>